Stan Jabalisco here. Uh, I'd like to describe another sort of spaceship that has been proposed or at least contemplated for travel amongst the stars. And that is known as a bussard ramjet. A bussard ramjet. Basically, it is a hydrogen powered spacecraft that uses nuclear fusion as shown here in this diagram to obtain its thrust a continuous fusion reaction something like a continuous low-grade atom bomb as it were or hydrogen bomb it has a living space and then it has a gigantic scoop which sweeps up hydrogen atoms that seem to be everywhere in our universe to some extent or another primarily in interplanetary space but also to some extent in interstellar space and concentrated in nebulae and uh, things like that the vessel goes straight forward in that speed as it gradually accelerates it is able to scoop up more and more hydrogen fuel so it works better and better the faster it goes it'll start out very very slowly but even if you accelerate it only one gravity and that would be just about the right amount of acceleration for us earthlings uh, one gravity means that if you weigh 210 pounds here on earth you'd weigh 210 pounds in on board the spacecraft although if you weigh 210 pounds they might not let you go <laughs> it might be too heavy well if you weigh as much as i do which is more like 120 pounds they'd probably let you go the idea being that um, accelerating at one gravity would allow the people in this living space to stand sort of on the left hand side of this tablet shaped or pill shaped box so they could uh, or or a pill-shaped container or enclosure and it, they'd be very much at home and it would keep all of those unsavory things uh, that can occur in the absence of gravity from happening as for the confinement and the long journey that's another story entirely but if you accelerated only one gravity for a long enough period of time you can reach the stars within one human lifetime quite a lot of the stars as a matter of fact and as, as I said, as you increase your speed, you could increase it more and more and more by scooping up more and more of these hydrogen atoms. Now, when it came time for you to slow down, that'd be a little bit of a different conundrum because you can't just necessarily turn this vessel around and back up. You'd have to actually turn this engine around somehow, rotate it around so that it would blow in the forward direction instead of the reverse direction. Maybe you'd need a second engine right in the center of this scoop. But this is known as a bussard ramjet, presumably after a man named Bussard who first thought it up. And it's called a ramjet because it really does actually operate by means of sucking this stuff in very much like a ramjet engine sucks air in and creates a thrust out of that you, you have to carry fuel along but here once you get the reaction going presumably you would not need to carry any fuel because all your fuel is right out here amongst the stars that helps a lot if you don't have to carry fuel because if you're going to travel uh, light years through uh, interstellar space or someday maybe even through intergalactic space you're not going to be able to afford to carry along any of your fuel. You're going to have to find a way to sustain yourself, and that goes for food, too. You're going to have to figure out a way to feed yourself in a self-sustaining, closed environment, and then you're going to have to be willing to live most of your life confined into a little pill box like that. I don't think I'd like that very much, to tell you the truth. I think I'd rather just swim in the lake and walk in the woods right here on good old planet Earth. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.